Hey, welcome back everyone, Toysh is here, and welcome to my Make Mine Marvel week. This entire week we're going to be checking out some brand new Hasbro Marvel Legends figures. We got some Diamond Selects and we got some NECA Toys action as well. But to kick off Wolverine's 50th anniversary, finally got my two packs. So today we have Brood Wolverine which is very cool, and Lalandra Narami, which, if you've been watching X-Men 97, she's definitely been on that show recently. Really nice artwork all over the box, as in true Marvel Legends fashion. On the back side, you get the usual. Again, some redone artwork of the classic look of Wolverine, which, if you were wondering, yes, you can totally do that pose if you'd like. That's a nice touch. That's always cool to see when the artwork matches the figure. Ah, you also get a little bit of a write-up on Wolverine and Lalandra, kinda, sorta. She's the Empress of the Shi'ar Empire, if you didn't know. But it's really Andy Kubert and Brad Anderson, of which they did this stellar cover back in the day for X-Men 234. And of course, here's the barcode. You're not gonna need that because these are not going to retail. In fact, they're online retail exclusive. That's what fan channel means and I got mine from Entertainment Earth. So for those of you interested, if you like what you see here in this vid, put a link down in the description below. You can order off Entertainment Earth and get 10% off with my links. Stuff have to be in stock, but this one happens to be as of this video. So happy shoppings. But in the meantime, this is gonna be an absolute blast. Sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot cup of coffee. This is a look at the brand new Hasbro Marvel Legends for Wolverine's 50th anniversary, the Brood Vereen and Lalandra. Now here is everything taken out of the packaging. And if I'm being honest, for the price these are at, there's really not a whole heck of a lot in the box. Sure, you do get two nice looking action figures, but it's all about the accessories. And no, I don't count the extra hands, but I do count the actual weaponry like this space trident for Lalandra. And if we're being honest, it is the bare minimum of what an accessory could be. It's like a Playmates Ninja Turtles weapon. This is supposed to be a collector's line, right? There's no paint, it's very flimsy. It's just basically an almost kind of clear see-through piece of plastic in the form of whatever this is supposed to be. So no, this is not a great accessory. However, you do get a really nice looking Lalandra figure and Yes, this has been a long time coming. She has a really nice head portrait. All of it is painted beautifully, but for those of us that remember, if you got the old Silver Sable, you kind of transform the extra one into your own makeshift Lalandra. That's about as far as I went with mine, so yes, it is definitely nice to have the actual Lalandra figure and the head portraits do swap. So in the very least, you already have the extra head portraits for her, but in terms of the actual action figure, she has really nicely sculpted parts that make up her alien costume. I totally dig that. You'll kind of get hindered in the articulation by the cape. She has really nice silvery plastic, we'll just say that. It does make her stand out. I like the figure overall. Again, I'm very happy to have this. No, the cape is not going to come off. It is actually glued to her or fastened with that space brooch. But overall, the head portrait, enough movement, you get the idea. It's nothing mind blowing in terms of a Marvel Legends figure. Again, the cape is nice, but there's no wash on it. The legs, the arms, everything is the basic articulation. So if you like Marvel Legends and you've been collecting them long enough and with these new upgrades, we'll just say, you know what you're gonna be getting. In terms of the Wolverine, however, you know, this is kind of a guilty pleasure for me, if anything. You do get a set of bladed claws. You got plenty of snicked action going, and these are actually new because his claws are popped already, but the hands are open. I like that change. I think that that is cool, especially with an alien menace like the Brood that has just taken over Wolverine, whose healing factor is trying to stave it off. Again, this is kind of one of those figures, these characters, 
There's not a whole heck of a lot to it. What do you do with it in your collection? It's just kind of a figure that exists. However, it's a very poignant piece of X-Men history and lore, but the paint could definitely have been a whole heck of a lot better, especially on the yellowy mustard parts of the costume, at least in the chest area. And to finally put this to rest, yes, the cowl should have been more of the mustardy yellow. If you look at the comics, unless they're trying to go for more of a shading thing, which I don't think it works, it should have been a mustardy yellow. So that's kind of a goof. Is it a mid transformation brood? Why would the costume change colors? That kind of thing. So yeah, it could have done a lot better, but they make up for it with an articulated jaw. And that's when I completely went hands down. This is awesome. I absolutely love that because I want to see more articulated jaws on characters especially McFarlane toys with the Joker. You'd think it'd be a no brainer at this point. This is awesome. I absolutely love that they gave the brood Wolverine an articulated jaw. Of all the things in the box, that's probably my favorite aspect. Otherwise, it's gonna be a Wolverine that you have probably 10 times over at this point. All the articulation, the arms are new because he's got that brood armor going on. However, instead of those lines continuing up towards the shoulder blade, it's just painted plastic. So that would have been nice to kind of continue that just to kind of get a fully new figure, you know what I mean? But some extra arms, like when he starts actually turning into those tendril-like appendages for the brood, that would have been awesome to include in the box because it is very light overall, as we've seen. And for the price, you know, it's just one of those things. In terms of the brown costume Wolverine, you probably already have, to all the other Wolverines in your collection, hypothetically speaking, you may not be as nuts as I am, but there is some distinct differences in the color to be sure. Largely, it's going to be the same figure. You have the upgraded claws from, let's say, more of the animated cell shaded X-Men 97 offerings, but it really is for me that head portrait that is a stellar. And while I don't have the original Marvel Legends Build-A-Figure Brood Queen, I do have three of the original Toy Biz Broods, which, I think still hold up. They're pretty darn cool and I highly recommend them if you can get a hold of one. They're just really darn cool and they do work really well with Marvel Legends. It's probably one of the only Toy Biz holdovers at this point that could actually look good in your collection. So grab yourself a brood or three. Now, in terms of Lalandra, this is a great figure to have with Professor Xavier, and all the other space-type characters associated with X-Men and the Shi'ar Empire. So if you have collected the recent Starjammer offerings, you have Fang, or even this Professor Xavier, or heck, even years back, the Gladiator, yes, this new Lalandra will go really nice with your collection. And for me, she's the mainstay of this box set, although that Brood Wolverine is awesome. However, I will say this. While this is a cool set, the price is a little bit extreme for what you are getting. For me, it's a little bit of an old nod to Toy Biz offerings, an obscure character with a character that you need, but the difference being that back then, you were looking at maybe 10, 15 bucks tops for a two pack. At the price it is, if you really like these characters, by all means, grab it now. If you're on the fence, definitely wait for a clearance. So. I'm gonna leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food, but most importantly, remember, stay tuned. My Make Mine Marvel Week will continue, and we got lots more to talk about. X-Men 97 has really invigorated my love of Marvel. And when you do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.